Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Happy 2025. Today we're gonna to be creating a blog using Next.js and Sanity. I recently used this template for my own blog and it was super easy to set up. So I'm gonna walk you guys through it. Uh, let's not waste any time, let's get straight to it. All right, so before we get started, I'm assuming you're a step above a beginner and you have a couple things installed like Node.js, um, you have a GitHub account, you have VS Code. If you don't, go ahead and download those things and then follow along. Uh, it should be simple enough that as a beginner you should still be able to follow along. So using your browser, let's go ahead and search Sanity Next.js template. Now it's going to be one of the top results. We're looking for clean Next.js plus Sanity app templates. I already have a Sanity account. If you don't have one, go ahead and register. It's completely free, so don't worry about paying anything. We're going to hit use template. And we just got to name it. I'm going to name it uh, blog dash YouTube. Now over in VS code, we're going to uh, create a folder and then we're going to run a couple commands from sanity to link up our studio. All right. Now that sanity loaded, this is the command we need to copy. And then let's go over to visual studio code. Let's open a folder. Uh, we'll name it the same as our sanity project open. Now terminal, a new terminal. Let's go ahead and paste that command. I'm already logged in. If you're not, you're gonna get prompted to log in. Just go ahead and follow along. The output path is going to be whatever we have it uh, set to. So just hit enter. It's gonna take one second to download all the files. Just give it a couple minutes. All right, so now we can run npm run dev to start up our server. Now Sanity Studio, which handles the content, that's gonna be in localhost 333. And then the actual app that the user sees is gonna be in localhost 3000. So let's go ahead and command click. And then one second, there we go. This is our app. We're going to be customizing this uh, for our purposes, but take a look. We got a header. We have a GitHub uh, link. We have a hero section and here's where our posts will be. So let's go ahead and keep going with the commands. We ran this. Let's go ahead and hit next step. We don't need to import sample data. We already have our own data. All right, now let's deploy our studio. I'm going to open up a new terminal. We'll do CD studio because we need to change into the studio directory. And then we're going to do NPX sanity deploy. So now here we can choose our name of our studio. This is the actual URL. So this is where you'll type in the internet to access your studio and be able to make any changes. So I'm going to name it a uh, blog, YouTube. I hope that's not taken. Oh, it is taken. Okay. So let's do blog YT one, two, three. Nice. That works. Uh, um, yes. Yeah. I'm okay with that. I'm going to do yes. All right, so you can see success studio deployed. Let's go ahead and do command click open. And there you go. Log in with the same account that you logged in on the other sanity site. And in my case, it's GitHub. So I'm just going to go ahead and click GitHub. I'm already logged in. So it's going to take me to the dashboard. Uh, free upgrade. Nice. We don't need to worry about this presentation view. Let's just go ahead over to structure. But now, if you want to make any posts, you don't need to launch up your development server. You just need to go to your handle. In my case, blog yt123.sanity.studio. Uh, I am going to make a change in the code so that the posts refresh faster. Go over to it next to app, app, and then layout. Now it's going to be a little line of code, but it's going to improve the user experience so much more. Let's do export constant we'll do revalidate and then we'll set that to 10 so it's every 10 seconds 
that way the new posts are always generated every 10 seconds. Uh, normally, Next.js will hold on to the content and cache it, so sometimes your posts might might not appear until you um, you start up your server and deploy it again, which was which is just a hassle. So this one little line of code is gonna save you a bunch of time. And now that that is said, I think we can go ahead and create our first post. Yeah. So let's go ahead and create post. It's gonna take us back to our studio. I'm gonna close this so we don't get confused. All right, so the title of our first post is gonna be my first post. Let's generate a slug. That's gonna be the URL. Contents, I'm gonna do a big heading. Blog post. Test. Now the cover image is cool because even though it is required, we have Unsplash where we can choose a high quality image. I'm gonna choose that one because it just, it looks really cool. We can crop it, which I'm also going to do. Add figure. All right. Oh, I don't think it's going to let me crop it. All right, well, that's okay. We can hit publish and then you'll see in our node terminal that it refreshed. So if we go back to our local host, my first post, if we click on it, boom, there you go, guys. That's our first post. Now, if we go back to our studio, let's say we want to choose a different image. Let me go back here and I'll open it up again. Let's go ahead and just refresh. All right, so let's go ahead and do, let's go ahead and crop it. Drag this up. Nice. And then you see it just refreshed. So let's go back to our studio localhost 3000. Nice. Yeah, I think that looks much better. And look at that, guys. We have our first post. And now when the user clicks on it, we're going to see our content. This is just test content, obviously. But you guys can choose to write whatever you want to write about. Uh, really go ahead and make this your own. I think now that we have our first post set up, um, we might move on to the customization. Um, let's create the about page first, uh, just because we have to create it in the studio and then we can move on to just customizing. So about page, we're going to do about, let's generate the slug heading also be about don't need a subheading for your page builder. We're going to do info section and this is the actual content that's going to be on the page. I uh, don't need a subheading, so I'm going to do, hi, I'm Edgar. And let's go ahead and publish that. So you can see Standard Live is doing its magic and it's updating it instantly. So if we go back, hey, now we have an about page. Nice. So if we click these icons, we'll go back home. And that is it for most of the code. Um, on the sanity side, I think now we can move on to fully customizing. So let's do that next. All right, so we're gonna start customizing the header. Uh, then we'll move on to this hero section. So if you go back to VS Code, let's open up our components folder and then header. Here we're gonna delete almost everything that's in here. Uh, let's delete these icons. All these SVG paths can go. There we go. And then we're just going to write our name here. You can write your name. And then now we, now we have our name in the corner, which I think looks really clean, really nice. Uh, let's go ahead and delete these colors because I don't want it to change color when I hover. You can leave it if you'd like or change the color. I'm just going to keep it simple and delete them. I'm also going to delete this part of the URL and add my GitHub handle. Just so when you click on it, if it was my blog, it would take you to my GitHub. I'm going to also shorten this to just GitHub. Nice. I think that's it for the header. That looks nice. Let's move on to this section, which is in the page. Page TSX. There we go. All right. So let's delete these, these links. 
I'm gonna write, um, welcome to my blog. Here you can write anything you'd like. Nice, let's delete this. Gonna change this bio to just something simple like this is a blog that I created um, using Next.js and Sanity. Thanks GitHub Copilot. Nice, let's delete uh, the get started code. We don't need the documentation link. Uh, this is an empty div tag now, so we don't need that. Let's save. Nice. Uh, a small cosmetic change. I'm going to change this to blue. It's a little gradient here, and I kind of like how the blue looks more than the red. And that's it, guys. Uh, let's get rid of this. I don't need that. You can keep it. I want to say that's in the layout as well. Yeah, there we have our footer component. You can go ahead and delete that. All right, guys. That's it. You have your first post, here's a blog post, you have an about page, you have a GitHub button that takes people to your GitHub. So that's it. You just created your first blog using Next.js and Sanity, and it didn't even take us that long. So now I'm going to show you guys how to publish it to GitHub and then deploy it on Vercel so it's out on the internet for all your friends, all your peers to, to enjoy. So let's go ahead and hop back to VS Code. We're gonna commit these changes. Staged, nice. So I'm gonna publish this branch publicly, just so you guys can look at the code if you'd like. It takes one, two seconds here. In the meantime, I'm gonna go over to Vercel. I have a bookmarked already. If you don't have a Vercel account, go ahead and create one. It's totally free as well. Now that that's committed and published, I'm going to add new project. Now I would have my GitHub connected so you can see blog YT just now. I'm going to click import. Uh, that's fine. I'm going to change the root directory though. We're going to do Next.js app. Now the environment variables, these are important. These are actually necessary. Here we have two files. Um, the example we can delete. It's just an example. These are our tokens. This is the most important one, but we need all of them except uh, this one that's optional. Um, this secret, don't share it with anybody. This is just an example though, so I don't really care. I might delete this in a couple of days or regenerate a new one. But in your case, don't share your token with anybody. These are our secret keys. Now let's go ahead and delete the public studio URL. And I think that's it. Yeah, hit deploy. Um, if we have any errors, Vercel will let us know. If there aren't any errors, then it'll give us a link. Uh, and that's it, we're live. We'll be live on the internet. So let's go ahead and see here what we get. And it'll just take a couple minutes. So just go ahead and hand back, get yourself some coffee, some tea, some soda, whatever you prefer. And we'll see if we got it right on the first try. Right, guys we just finished deploying and look at that congratulations we're live so let's continue to dashboard and then there we go that's our link so now every time we click this this is live on the internet so guys congrats you just created your first blog using Next.js Insanity and it didn't even take us that long Anytime you make any change in GitHub, it'll redeploy, so it's automatic. You don't even have to worry about it. Anytime you upload a post uh, using your Sanity Studio, it's gonna refresh every 10 seconds on your actual website. So you don't really ever have to touch the code again. Um, I hope you guys, you know, learned something, got something out of this. Uh, you know, not every coding project has to be something crazy. You can start simple, still gain some skills. So I do encourage you guys to customize this, keep keep up with it, create blog posts. I'm gonna do the same, and I'm gonna link my blog so that you guys can see some of the stuff I've been working on, some of the things I'm writing about. But yeah, that's it guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'll be creating more tutorials, so stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. Deuces.